This is Jeff Howald. Today we are going to learn how to tune the five string banjo. We're assuming that the banjo you have is in good shape and is ready to be tuned. If you think there are any problems or the banjo will not stay in tune after watching this video, we recommend that you take it to your local music store for adjustment. Before starting, let's make sure that the banjo bridge is in the correct location. Here is the banjo bridge, which sits on the banjo head. The bridge must be in the correct position for the notes on the banjo to play in tune. You'll notice that the bridge is mobile, in other words, it'll move around. In order to tell where the bridge should be, we will take a tape measure and use it to measure the correct location of the bridge. Okay, what we're going to do is measure from the inside of the nut to the center of the 12th fret. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 to the center of this wire. That measurement is equal from the distance from the center of the wire to the edge of the bridge. Okay? So this distance is the same as this distance. Once you've placed the bridge in the correct position, take a pin and draw a line for future reference. We will discuss two ways to tune the banjo. The first way is with an electronic tuner, which is the easiest and quickest way. We recommend a chromatic tuner. This is a tuner that reads all of the notes of the chromatic scale as opposed to a guitar tuner, which only contains six notes. Here's a tuner that uses a needle. When you play a note, the tuner will tell you what note it is. In this case, a G. I've tuned my G string down to an F sharp. I know that G is the next higher note, so I tune my string higher. Okay, first I wanted to make sure it says G. Then once it says G, I keep tuning it until the needle rests in the center. And in this case, the light in the center turns on. Now you'll notice that as you play the string that the pitch varies slightly. So what we want to do is get a nice steady sound. So the first string is a D, second is a B, third is a G, fourth is a D, fifth is a G, Okay, now let's assume that our string is way off. In this case, this is the third string, it's at an F. Keep going up to F sharp. Okay, now let's go to the next type of tuner, which is one that attaches to your instrument and tunes from the vibrations. This is a tuner which attaches to the instrument, it clamps on the instrument, and it tunes from vibration. If all six arrows appear, it means that the note's in tune. If the note is too low, you'll notice that the arrows to the right of the G in this case disappear. As I raise the note, all six arrows appear. Okay, here's the first string, which is a D. Second string is a B. I'm sorry, I just played the third string. Second string is a B. Fourth string is a D. Once again, play the string with a nice, balanced, touch 
so that the string will sustain in a very even way. Okay, this is a handy tuner because it will clamp on various parts of the headstock like that. And once it's clamped, you can play your note, and there it is. Let me say one other thing. If your banjo is severely out of tune, and you know someone who plays guitar or banjo, you may want them to tune up the instrument the first time. The reason for this is that there are several of each note on the banjo. In other words, there's seven, several G's, several D's, several B's. The tuner only tells you what note you're playing. It does not tell you the correct octave. So for example, if you're tuning the four string, which is a D above middle C, and you start tuning it to a D eight notes above middle C, you will tighten the string too much and it will break. The next way of tuning is by ear. In this example, I will play each note on the banjo and you match that pitch. Here's the first string, the one closest to the ground, which is a D. Second string is a B. Third string is a G. Fourth string is a D. Fifth string is a G. Another way of tuning is called relative tuning, which we will not cover in this video because it is covered in most banjo instructional books. If you have any questions, you can email me at jeff at cvls.com. This is Jeff Howald. Good luck and have fun picking.